This is Nina Curley of WAMDA Media. I'm here at the Mix and Mentor Riyadh with Tassim Salim, the co-founder of GCOM. Tassim, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? So tell us a bit about GCOM. What do you guys focus on? So GCOM uh, stands for uh, Girl Gamers Community. Uh, we're the first uh, female gamers and developer community in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we had our first event last year in April 2012, and we had around 3,000 gamers attend the event. Uh, the convention was massive. We had around uh, six companies take place. Three of those were the biggest gaming companies in, in you know, the world, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. And we're very happy with that. Uh, this year, we're planning to expand and, and take our operations throughout Saudi, and hopefully within the next five years, we can reach out to gamer girls and developers everywhere. So are most of your developers women? Uh, yes, actually, all of our developers, uh, the team working with me, the artists, the writers, uh, are 100% women. Fantastic. And what are your biggest challenges thus far developing games in the Saudi market? Well, uh, so far, the biggest challenge I would have to say is the fact that uh, there are no big games out there. So we don't really have a local role model that we can follow or you know, a local business model that we can apply through ourselves. Uh, and the fact that there is no technical training around available either has been a huge challenge. Uh, we're trying to develop our talents in-house by you know, going online and finding resources and, and basically living the life of an independent developer. But you know, it, it gets very tough sometimes. But the good thing is that we've actually been able to secure support from a number of companies around here. Uh, and we actually have a game development competition that's running right now. Uh, we did it in uh, collaboration with uh, Verso. Uh, they're an, uh, an incubator for educational projects. The theme of the competition is education. And they've agreed to sponsor the top three winners with an invest a seed investment for their game so that they can develop it. So that's a huge leap for us that investors are taking interest and, and offering financial support for games and, and game developers, especially females. Good, and will they provide sort of that training and incubation support? Yes, they would provide that. They would help the development teams uh, develop their games from A to Z, basically, whatever they need. And, and that's the good thing, because they would help them publish the games as well, uh, reach new audiences, and you know, get in touch with the people they need to get in touch with to make sure that the games actually happen. What is the number one thing that you would need to move forward? Uh, Probably just a little bit more time to develop our technical skills locally and, and in-house as far as we're concerned. But uh, we're happy with our progress so far. Hopefully the next event will be bigger and better and would have more people take interest in the games. And actually the games that will result from this competition will all be shown in our next event in October. So hopefully people will like them and they'll be a stepping stone forward for us. Looking forward to it. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank you.